Jordan has strongly criticized Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's defensive stance, claiming that enemies surround Israel. Jordanian Foreign Minister Ayman Safadi countered Netanyahu's assertions by highlighting the readiness of 57 Arab and Muslim countries to guarantee Israel's security on the condition that Israel ends its occupation and facilitates the creation of an independent Palestinian state. Safadi emphasized that Arab and Muslim countries represented by the Organization of Islamic Cooperation are committed to a peace solution, but said Israel is unwilling to engage in meaningful negotiations. The Israeli Prime Minister came here today and said that Israel is surrounded by those who want to destroy it, an enemy. We're here, members of uh, a Muslim Arab committee mandated by 57 Arab and Muslim countries. And I can tell you here, very unequivocally, all of us are willing to right now uh, guarantee the security of Israel in the context of Israel ending the occupation and uh, 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 allowing for the emergence of a Palestinian state, independent state, along the Tevrefrats that we all agree. He further accused Netanyahu of manufacturing instability by rejecting a two-state solution, warning that the current Israeli government's policies are perpetuating conflict. He is creating that danger because he simply does not want the two-state solution. And if he does not want the two-state solution, can you ask the Israeli officials, what is their endgame other than just wars and wars and wars? Safadi claims that the Israeli government has undermined decades of peace efforts. He states that 30 years of work to promote peace have been reversed by the current leadership, leading to dehumanization, hatred, and bitterness that will take generations to heal. The Jordanian foreign minister called on Israel to articulate a clear plan for peace, claiming that while the Arab world has proposed a comprehensive solution, Israel has only offered military aggression. So ultimately the question is, we want peace, and we've laid out a plan for peace. Ask any Israeli official, what is their plan for peace? You'll get nothing because they're only thinking of the first step. We're going to go destroy Gaza, inflame the West Bank, destroy Lebanon. And after that, they have no plan. We have a plan. We have no partner for peace in Israel. There is a partner for peace in the Arab. Safadi reiterated that the Arab world seeks a peaceful solution that ensures Israel's security in exchange for Palestinian sovereignty. However, he asserted that there is no willing partner for peace on the Israeli side, blaming the current Israeli government for escalating tensions in the region. The Arab Peace Initiative, first proposed in 2002, offers Israel full normalization with Arab states if it withdraws from the territories occupied since the 1967 Six-Day War and allows the establishment of an independent Palestinian state. Despite initial international support, the proposal has languished amid ongoing violence and political deadlock. Safadi's remarks come amidst growing regional frustration over Israel's continued settlement expansion and military actions in Gaza and Lebanon.